Springsteen has sprung new tour dates. Cream Magazine has never before seen pics of Metallica. Meredith Brooks stops in for a chat. And let's just call Sunday Motley Crew Day. Eek! It's happening! The Music High Five! Hey everyone, it's me, Katie Darrell, and I think we should get started with the quick hits. Metallica is All Without Our Hands Foundation donated $250,000 to aid victims of the 7.8 earthquake that hit Turkey and Syria. The greatest and best song in the world made history again. 22 years after its release, Tenacious D's tribute has gone platinum in the UK. And it's time to take out a loan, cause Bruce Springsteen has announced new North American tour dates. And the Chicks announced a summer world tour. Ho oh, ho, I'm gonna need beer money. Moving on from the quick hits, let's jump into the music high five. Number one, who's the highest paid entertainer in all the land? Forbes' list of 2022's highest paid entertainers is out. And Genesis and Sting have snagged the top two spots. Landing at number one is Genesis, who raked in $230 million thanks to selling off their music catalog and farewell tour, along with selling off his solo and police music catalog and the My Songs tour that went to 114 cities, Sting landed at the number two spot with 210 million. Other artists in the top 10 include The Rolling Stones, Taylor Swift, and Bad Bunny. Number two, we've got covers on Cream. Cream Magazine's rock and relaunch continues. Their 2023 spring issue is expected to drop March 15th, and it's filled with features on Way's Blood, Katie Kirby, Smashing Pumpkins' Billy Corgan, a sit-down interview with Peter Frampton, and on top of its third impending issue, Cream just released never-before-seen photos of Metallica! Woo! Who's ready for some Cream now? Number three. Meredith Brooks celebrates a milestone. Meredith Brooks released her multi-platinum debut album, Blurring the Edges, over 25 years ago. And it's getting a masterful digital expansion, filled with new bonus tracks, live performances. Well, you know what? You better just hear it from Brooks herself. Blurring the Edges, the uh, expanded digital edition is available now. What does that exactly mean? Well, we've got um, we've got a bunch of live stuff um, Took a while to, to to hunt down in the vault and then get the licensing. It was a lot of complicated stuff. I'm glad I wasn't a part of, but I really wanted these certain live shows that I thought sounded so amazing to be on the this this uh, version. And they accomplished the mission. I was very pleased. And they're on this version. I'm really happy. Yeah. When you sat down and you got to re-experience your album in this format, did it give you the same goosebumps as back in the day? Honestly, the way we recorded this is we built the studio from scratch in a garage in Nichols Canyon. And it sounds so good still. I'm really proud and happy that, you know, Universal just stepped up and just said, hey, we're gonna go for this. And, you know, I feel like an honest to goodness legacy artist now. So they're taking care of all my stuff and my catalogs and my vault stuff. And it's, it's pretty exciting. Number four, Kelsey Ballerini gets personal. Kelsey Ballerini surprised fans everywhere with not only a new EP, but an accompanying short film. Rolling up the welcome mat details Ballerini's divorce, which the singer announced in August of last year. The EP contains six new songs and the short film is trending online everywhere. Number five, your Sunday is gonna rock. Sunday Night Rocks returns to Access TV on February 19th. Starting with the crazy fun new series, Rockstar Shuffle, followed by Parking Lot Payday and Motley Crue in concert. Sunday Night Rocks, only on Access TV. You know what I'm in the mood for right about now? Some super sweet new music videos, shall we? With her PJ Harvey vibe, Devin Thompson's latest video, Soft Like Water, hits hard. And phone boy longs for things past with What a Coward. Plus, Hunter Daly keeps her eyes and heart open in Don't Fall Asleep. Music news is always happening, so keep listening. I'm Katie Darrell, and that's the Music High Five.